Hey, I'm Andrea, and this video is about Orioles reliever Yanir Cano. He's been off to such a dominant start this season. He's got an ERA of 0.93, 1% walk rate, 30% strikeout rate, just incredible all around. And his sinker, how he revamped it in the offseason, is a huge part of that. So if we look at his sinker results from last year and compare them to this year, you can see that his ground ball rate is a lot better, his slugging against is significantly better, and his run value is also much improved this year. So how did he get these like significantly better results this season? Well, there are two major differences in the movement profile that I noticed. The first is that the sinker is getting six inches of more sink this year compared to last. And what I mean by that is that the velocity is staying the same, so around 96 miles per hour, but there's an additional six inches of downward movement. The second thing that's changed is that the seam orientation at his point of release is different from the seam orientation when the ball crosses the plate. It's a little more complicated to grasp, but it is very important in terms of like the movement of the pitch and how hitters are reacting to it. So first of all, I apologize. I'm not a graphic designer, so I tried my best with these images. And all I'm trying to get across here is how I'm going to be representing the ball spinning in the rest of the video. So spin we know is super important. It contributes to the movement of the pitch. And the spin axis is that line that I have going through the ball, and that's the line which the ball rotates around. So looking at this ball on the right, all I want you to take from this is that the ball is moving around that blue line and spinning toward us. So this would be an example of a pitch with perfect backspin uh, from the pitcher's perspective. These charts from Baseball Savant, they're trying to accomplish the same thing as that graphic I made, but they just don't show the spin axis because there are several pitch types being represented and they all have different spin axes. But the graphics still show how each pitch spins. The colored blocks attached to the clock tell you at which angle the ball is spinning, so how much the ball is tilted, and are representative of the arrow that I have in my original example on the left. So depending on the pitch type, the ball is either rotating toward you or away from you, and the spin axis is always going to be perpendicular to those blocks. And like I said, it's going to vary depending on the pitch type and based on the angle of the spin. I know that can be hard to conceptually grasp, so let's isolate Cano's sinker since that's the focus of this video. It's shown in orange on the Baseball Savant chart. It's close to uh, 3 o'clock. It's that big block there. On the right, I lined up the sinker block on my own clock and I added an axis and an arrow to help show the spin. And as opposed to the original example pitch that I have all the way on the left here, this sinker is spinning at a pretty significant tilt. And that's in part due to his release point, how the ball is angled at release, and uh, his grip. And the spin axis, as you can see, is no longer horizontal because of that tilt. The spin axis is perpendicular and is always going to be perpendicular to the pitch line on the clock. And this is what the sinker's axis and spin looks like when the ball is released. So again, it's spinning toward us, so it still has like a backspin look to it. It's just spinning in the direction of that line, kind of like a globe. So now let's look at where the axis is when the ball crosses the plate. So now it's tilted a little more. It's more aligned with four o'clock, so it's still spinning perpendicular to that axis, around the axis, but the axis has changed. And we can see that if we overlay the two. So the axis is different when it crosses the plate. That means that while we or a hitter might expect the pitch to move one way based on the tilt when it's released, the pitch actually ends up moving differently due to the tilt when it crosses the plate. And that idea is called seam shifted wake. And I've written about seam shifted wake before, so you could check that out if you're interested. It was a video about Alec Manoa uh, back in 2021. But all it is, is it just describes the effect that the seams have on the pitch movement that causes the spin axis to shift or change mid-flight. And that leads to varying movement by the time it crosses the plate, so late unexpected movement. It's, it's very difficult for a hitter to anticipate and uh, make quality contact on pitches that have seam shifted wake. And we can't confirm that Keno sinker has this, but typically when you see such a dramatic difference, like almost an hour here, in the spin axis, a seam shifted wake is likely a factor. So those two changes, the additional sink and the seam shifted wake, are really major in terms of like revamping the entire pitch. And now Cano has gone from a pitcher with an ERA of above 11 in 2022 to a top three reliever in baseball in terms of ERA. If you like this video, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Scalpel Report. Thanks for watching.